For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how you can control an LCD character display from CircuitPython. So in this case, I'm using our new I2C backpack that's running the MCP23008 driver for these types of LCD displays. And if you take a look at the demo here, you can see I am writing a message line and then a second one. I've got a little blinking cursor. Then I blank the screen, I throw up a new message, and then I scroll that off to the side and repeat. And there are other things you can do, but these are pretty typical things you want to do on an LCD display. So if you take a look at the code, you can see, first of all, I'm importing this library, Adafruit Character LCD, and the I2C uh, version of that. Then I am setting up I2C on my Cutie Pie that I have running over here. You can see that right there. Uh, so that's plugged into the backpack on the back of this display here. Then I initialize the LCD class as LCD, and that's character LCD, character LCD on I2C. I tell it the I2C bus that it's on, and then the dimensions, width and height. In this case, it's a 16 character uh, horizontally and two lines vertically. Then I am turning on the backlight on this so that we can see it. And then in the main loop of this, I'm just running sort of three little snippets of code. First, I am clearing the screen and then moving the cursor to the top left, and that's what this LCD home does. Then, by simply saying lcd.message and throw in a message in quotes, it will print that up to the display. And then I'm pausing for a second. Then I am turning on the cursor and the blinking block above the cursor here with lcd.cursor is true and lcd.blink is true. And then I'm setting my cursor position to zero horizontally, but one vertically. So that's the second line down. And then I'm, again, using message to print this little uh, love note from Lars. And then I'm waiting three seconds. Then finally, I clear the display again. I move the cursor back to home. Then LCD cursor and blink get set to false. Turn those off. And then I'm creating a variable called scroll message, which has this two-line message here. You can see I'm using uh, a carriage return there, slash n. Then I take the uh, message and print that using scroll message variable. And then after it's up there for two seconds, I am using this lcd.moveLeft command, and I'm giving it a certain timing to make its little horizontal moves, which is what sweeps it off to the side. Blank that, and then start all over again. And so that is how you can use an LCD character display inside of CircuitPython. And that's your CircuitPython Parsec.